I'm Serena Abdel Messi. I'm a systemic coach working in the Middle East and in Europe. This is Alain Cardon. I'm uh, also a systemic coach, a master certified coach from the International Coach Federation. I'm French and I lived in the Middle East, in Egypt, for a long time. I grew up there. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I have a question. Um, trust is something very important everywhere in the world. Uh, specifically so in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. How can a coach work with this? Uh, well, indeed, uh, developing trust and intimacy is one of the International Coach Federation main uh, competencies, well, one of the 11 competencies. Uh, so it, it's uh, central in coaching if you want to do good work to, to develop a, a good trust relationship with the client. Um, now, in the Middle East, uh, probably the, the criteria is very important. It, it, uh, as in, in a lot of Middle Eastern cultures, there are very different cultures in the Middle East, but in a lot of them, um, relationships are very important, the past is very important, and where you come from is very important, and that helps to develop trust. Uh, it's a highly... Uh, tribal type of uh, environment, uh, clanic, we would say, in Europe. Who, the system to which you belong uh, sort of uh, gives you credibility mm -hmm. in terms of trust. Uh, now, for a coach, of course, uh, in the Middle East, I would say it takes probably more time than, than elsewhere. Time is, is uh, necessary to develop trust. In other words, a, a lot of people, I think, think that trust is there or not there. It's a given. Uh, actually, uh, I like to think of trust as a relationship with a banker. There's no reason for which my banker should trust me. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to develop history that is going to build the trust. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take small loans and reimburse them, and then bigger loans and reimburse them, and develop a relationship with my banker on the long term, so as to build the trust. Mm -hmm. And that way we'll be able to collaborate. Now, of course, banks work against this. They try to change my banker every three years, so as to... Uh, take off that dimension mm. from from the relationship. In, in the Middle East, uh, I think it's important to be present on the long term, like in a, a lot of other Levantine countries. If you just come and leave, you're, you, you don't have credibility, mm -hmm. but actually you, you don't have trust. Uh, to be able to develop a good working in the uh, relationship uh, in uh, Levantine countries, Middle Eastern countries. Uh, people have to feel that you're there for the long term, mm. that, that you're ready to invest your time, your energy, uh, your relationship into being there on the long term. Uh, so uh, time is of the essence, as, as we say. Uh, and it's not only time, of course, it's also attention, uh, presence, mm -hmm. um, uh, a good um, relational dimension. Uh, Middle Eastern people in general are rather hospitable uh, in the beginning. They'll open their door and welcome you. Um, and, and you have this first chance in which you can start developing a trust relationship. Right. If it doesn't start, then very quickly uh, the door will close. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so the, the first, uh, um, what the first instances, the first occasions uh, for developing a relationship uh, need to be the ones where you start developing this trust very quickly. Mm -hmm. And then it's not over. You need to build it and build it and build it and build it. Uh, everything, uh, I would say, rests on long-term mm. connections. Mm. Uh, so if you want to, to really accompany clients there, uh, they need to be privileged 
relationship, mm -hmm. almost family relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, Something that comes to my mind is also trust and confidentiality. Yes. Which is a big issue in mm -hmm. the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So, is this a competence of the ICR? Well, uh, of course, to be a good coach, you have to respect uh, client confidentiality. Uh, now, this goes to another dimension. In other words, in the Middle East, if you want to develop a good relationship mm -hmm. with somebody, you need to give them a show mm. that the relationship is there. And one way to show it is to give them confidential information that they don't have. Mm. So they will feel that you're opening up to them and giving them something useful. So uh, giving confidential information is a, is a sort of currency yeah. to develop strong relationships. Now, of course, if you give confidential information that concerns another client, uh, you're uh, selling information to mm. develop a relationship, but you're destroying a relationship. And then the client will, the person in front of you will say, well, if he talks about this to me, who is he going to talk about mm. Uh, mm. me? Yeah. To whom is he going to talk about me? So uh, it's a very, very subtle equilibrium uh, where you really need to be clear about your mm. ethical stance mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, work ethics yeah. uh, so as not to fall in, in, in those traps. Yes. Uh, this is just like all over the world actually. This is why uh, one of the key competencies in coaching is confidentiality also. Thank you. Yes.